Hello, this is Dr. Saurav Patwadhan from Nanda Deepai Hospital. In this video, I will be speaking about a case which I did under peripheral bar block because I was planning to do a combined phaco with vitrectomy and the CCC started going out. So let's have a look. So I have made the first side port incision. This is the main incision which I am making. I filled the anterior chamber with uh, 2% HPMC and I started off with CCC from the main incision as I do in all my cases using the cystitome and as I started doing the capsular axis what you can notice very clearly here is the viscoelastic is coming out and there you go so you can see the viscoelastic is continuously coming out from the incision and I am not pressing the posterior lip of the incision and that led to you can see the capstrex is trying to go out so what is really happening over here why is this OVD leaking so quickly and I know that that is the reason why the capsule rex is you know started going out so I have to find out why this was happening I have already explained the basic principles when you are using the main incision for doing capsule rex is either with forceps or with cystitome you cannot press the posterior lip down if you press the posterior wall of the incision the visco is going to leak out of course here I am not doing that so there is some another reason for this remember I am doing this case under peribulbar anesthesia when we give peribulbar anesthesia there is increased intraorbital pressure and this further leads to pushing of the globe anteriorly and when you incise the cornea this pressure is going to push everything out So I gave peripheral bar injection over here because I was doing a combined phacovitrectomy and the intraorbital pressure remained high. That was the reason. So what should we do to avoid this? Do some gentle ocular massage after peripheral bar injection so there is dissipation of fluid and the intraorbital pressure goes down becomes normal. I think that is very essential when you are using local anesthesia in the form of peribulbar bar or retrobal bar. The intraorbital pressure should come back to normal before you proceed with intraocular surgery. Now how to tackle this particular situation? So use a heavy OVD like 1.8 hyaluronate or viscoat or hyalucoat to press the anterior capsule down make a small side port incision because you don't want visco to leak out from here and then you proceed with capsular axis from the side port and you will find here that once I do these two steps it becomes much more controlled and I know that I am going to complete this capsular axis without any extension so I can tackle this problem in this way but it's very important that we prevent this by taking good care of reducing the intraorbital pressure before we enter the globe. And it's also important to stop in time. When you understand there is some issue going on, you should not continue with the same step. But stop, think about it. So here are good tips from this, good ocular massage after giving peripheral bar injection, wait till the orbital pressure is normal, good OVD, manuous through the small incision and stop in time. For more tips you can always subscribe my YouTube channel and go through the playlist. And there is one exciting website we have developed, fecotraining.org.in. So go and visit this website. Thank you.